Blackbeard wasn't a hero by any means, but the way the school has interpreted pirates carries a lot of meaning about teamwork and loyalty, and I'll be proud if they can hang that message around this monument. I'm doing a clay sketch to humanize Blackbeard, because once this is cast in bronze, this image of him is going to be locked in forever. Now, I wanted him to be a grizzly and weathered, so that's where I'm gonna go with this. In order to make him look more aggressive, I had to really get his brows to come down towards the nose. I've kind of put the nose a bit off center, like it's been broken in a fight at some point. You know, it helps with the character of the piece. A good exercise to do when sculpting bust or face is to do one expression, wipe it out, do it again, do a different one. It also helps you get over the whole, oh, this is sculpture, it's precious idea, because it ain't precious till it's done. Now the next decision is whether or not to add an eye patch. Pirates are big on not surrendering, because if you surrendered, you got hung. So they looked for every little advantage, and one of them was the eye patch. When it came time for hand-to-hand -hand fighting, a pirate wearing an eye patch had one eye adjusted to the bright sunlight on deck, and the other adjusted to darkness. So if the combat traveled below deck, he could close his daylight eye and use his patch eye already accustomed to the darkness to stay in the fight. 